first thing that came to mind for me was um, I wasn't entirely sure what it was about. Like, I got the idea that uh, she's being haunted, essentially, but I, I couldn't tell much further than that what it was about. Um, you know, for example, I, th I think it seemed like she was filming uh, herself as a kind of diary of, you know, look, I'm being haunted, therefore I'm going to prove that I'm being haunted by filming it. But that wasn't necessarily clear. I don't know if that's the case or not, but that, that didn't come across. Um, and secondly, I think it didn't develop enough as the trailer went on. Um, so I, th I think there were some great shots in there, and I think there were some great sort of bits that emphasised how scared she was, how much she didn't know what was going on in her life. But I don't think it progressed as the trailer went on. So... Um, you know, for example, what did she do about that haunting? Who, who did she go? Did she go and seek help? Did she go and try and defeat the ghost by herself? Did she set traps up? Did she tell anyone? It was. It. It seemed like it was just about her being scared, and I think it maybe needed to develop a little bit further. Um, you know, even say, for example, the bit at the end, the shot at the end. I really like the shot at the end, but I wasn't sure how that fitted into the overall story. Um, you know, what had she done? Had she actually killed someone? Was that a ghost in the background? Was that her in the background? Um, so I think as progressing the story, it, it didn't do enough. Having said that, I thought there were some great shots in it. Um, I thought uh, sort of the build-up and the pace of it worked very well. Um, I think there just needs to be some story progression in there, though, and um, you know, where you start off to where you end and, and how you got there, you know, the, the, the story along the way. That one's obviously slightly more difficult to comment on yeah. at the minute, but fair enough, you've, you, know, you've got, you know you've got some things to do. Um, the first thing I would say is it sets it up well. Like, the first two seconds, I know exactly what it's about. Um, you yeah, know, need to see a little bit more to know where yeah. it's going. But no, it, it sets it up really well. You know what it's about, you know who you're following immediately. <coughs> Um, and you, know, you can even from, from that sort of get an idea of where you're going with it already um, and I think one of the things in, in, in any trailer is creating as much as you can from as little as possible you know, giving, not giving too much away but giving an idea of as much as possible from very <laughs> short little phrases um, short shots, that's, that sort of thing and I think that's already set that up well uh, the first thing I'd say is I really like the, the start of the trailer and right up to the build-up of her sitting up in bed and just, you know, like, what the hell's... You know, that, that's... I really like the pace of it. I've really sort of built up the, the story nicely, built up the pace nicely, then suddenly went into it, so I really, really like that. Um, one thing, I seem to remember thinking this a while back when I first sort of saw the initial shots of this, it might be good to do something that distinguishes the two girls, even if it's um, you know, a couple of close-ups of a, a scar or some eye makeup or something that makes it clear that there are two different girls there, basically. Like, it doesn't have to be... You don't have to tell the whole story. You don't have to give it all away. But something that makes it clear that there are two different girls would be, would be useful. Something really simple, one shot or two shots. Um, but in terms of pace and structure of the trailer, I really liked it. I think that one was uh, certainly in terms of story and working out what's going on, that was very clear. Um, and uh, you know, it was well structured. Um, there, there, there might be a few, I, th I think there could be some tweaks somewhere in terms of the sound, the build up, the, the, the sound and the build up of the tension didn't quite match. Um, I got the impression that you know, that needs work on anyway, and you probably know that. I think perhaps, for example, um, the, uh, the the song could be used halfway through. Um, as as the tension starts to ratchet up, you bring in bring in that that, that lyric is perfect. Um, at, at that point, I think there may be uh, the opportunity to hold still for a little bit on the guy that's doing it all. That one was uh, another one that had a, a pretty good pace to it and told you the story. You knew what was what was going to happen um, or what it was about rather and. I think that works really well in, in, in that trailer. I think it would be good to bring in a couple more shots that would tell you exactly 
who was doing the bullying at the start because uh, it wasn't it, it, it was clear that the two at, at the table were doing the bullying, but I didn't get the guy walking through um, uh, the void was anything to do with it. I, maybe that was just me that missed that, but I didn't think that was particularly clear. Um, I also think there needs to be some work on the sound, um, particularly the opening scene. It's difficult. I only worked out what she said the second time round um, about, you know, due to an incident. Um, Perhaps some titles could go in there as well, again, to help explain that it's gone back to earlier that day. Um, but I think in general, it, it really shows the story pretty well. It shows what it's about. It's very clear that it's about bullying, and I think that side of it worked. Um, again, I think there could be a build-up towards the end of uh, a bit more pace towards the end and that it's going to go crazy without giving too much away. But I think in general, I like that one. Oh, um, also, sorry, one last point. Where did uh, the title come from? I mean, it's, I think there's, there's a part of that title that, and particularly with the start of the, of the trailer, that sort of said, you know, due to an incident earlier on and its contamination, you're expecting an outbreak of something. Um, and it, it's clearly about bullying and she loses it throughout and just goes mad and kills, kills people or kills her bullies. But, as I say, I think the title mixed with the opening part of the trailer shows a different story or illustrates a different story to the end of the trailer. Uh, on that one I thought there's some really interesting effects um, and uh, some really nice shots, um, you know, particularly the, the, the still of her sitting down uh, in the corridor, um, there, there, there were some really good shots in there. I think there needs to be a little bit of explanation, even a, you know, a couple of shots, a couple of scenes, maybe a line or two that show the jealousy and why she goes from being her best friend to wanting to kill her. I think there needs to be something else a little bit more in there, um, more than she's just gone and got herself a boyfriend and isn't her best mate anymore, which is what I took from that. I think there needs to be something additional in there. but. I think the way the story moved along, as I say, I like some of the shots, I think some of the effects were good, uh, and there's, there's a lot of good stuff in there, it just needs that little bit more in the beginning, I think, to set it up. I really enjoyed that one, really enjoyed that, uh, good, you know, the, the good use of the uh, titles, um, well into cut at the start, I thought the pace was, was, was okay, and the, the structure was okay, and you could tell roughly what was going on, so I think all of that, there are loads of positives there. Um, I think... It, it could have shown a little bit more, I think, in terms of um, what actually was going on. You know, was there someone actually coming and killing them? It kind of it glossed over all of that and just had a lot of the setup and the build up to them going to this you know, the, the, the party, um, and then a lot of people just being killed. And there was kind of nothing in between. I think it needed a little bit more in there from. Uh, not necessarily from the point of view of the killer, but at least something that would show that some, you know, either someone or something is looking at them, or you know, a couple of extra shots, something like that. But generally, I really enjoyed that. I loved the end. Um, I thought the end was brilliant. Um, really left you wanting more. And I wouldn't say too much. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you need to say too much about the killer, but just a couple of extra shots, just to sort of make the jump from nothing happening to... Them, them being targeted, but generally really enjoyed that one. I think there's a lot in there in that one that, that works very well.